circus, da 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 Afro circus, Afro circus, Afro poke it up, poke it up, poke it up, Afro. Really? Animated mammals beat out aliens and 80s rock stars at the box office this weekend with Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted, taking the top spot, raking in $35.5 million. The film cost $145 million to make, and it's well on its way to making that back for Paramount and DreamWorks. In just two weeks, its domestic take totals are over $120 million. Chris Rock, who plays Marty the Zebra, talks about what audiences can expect from the movie. This film is absolute family entertainment. Family entertainment, top to bottom, old kids, young kids, adults, grandparents, everybody can go see Madagascar. I have a really good time. You got me, you got Ben Stiller, Jada, David, Sasha Baron Cohen, Sebastian Tate, like you got some of the funniest, best comedians in the world in this movie. And so just some of the best comedic minds coming together, working on the script and stuff. So this, this, is, this is real high-end high -end, uh, entertainment. Prometheus, the sort of prequel to Alien from director Ridley Scott, took second place this weekend, taking in an additional $20 million. It stars Michael Fassbender, Guy Pearce, and Charlize Theron, who has another film in the top five, Snow White and the Huntsman, which came in at number four, taking in almost $14 million. Tom Cruise and Rock of Ages came in third in its first week and to mixed reviews from critics, and it took in $15 million. The film is based on the successful Broadway play and focuses on the typical boy meets girl love story with an 80s rock twist. That's My Boy, The Raunch Fest, starring Adam Sandler and Andy Samberg, came in in fifth place, taking in $13 million for Sony Pictures. Maybe your son can help you.